In this problem, we're going to find the derivative of this function. So we will have to use a very important formula. If you have a to the x, and you want to take the derivative of this, the formula tells us that this is a to the x times the natural log of a. Super, super useful formula. So in this problem here, a is equal to 2. Also, in this problem, it's not just x. It's this entire piece, this whole 3 plus sine x. So what we'll do is we'll use the chain rule. So y prime is equal to. So the chain rule says that you take the derivative of the outside and you leave the inside untouched. So the derivative of the outside is going to use this formula here, except it's 2. So it'll be 2 to all of that stuff. That's the inside function. Then we still have the ln2. So the ln2 is part of the derivative of the outside. So we took the derivative of the outside function, which is 2 to the x, and we evaluate it at the inside. So you basically just leave it alone. And now you multiply, so times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of 3 is 0. The derivative of sine is cosine. Remember, that's how the chain rule works, right? You always take the derivative of the outside, evaluate it at the inside, and you multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's pretty much it. You can leave your answer like this, or you can put everything in the front. Let's go ahead and do that. This is the natural log of 2 cosine x, and then times, and then 2 to the 3 plus sine x. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.